What's up everyone and welcome back to Nexus. You may have seen one or two of these machines around, but I put together the top 15 craziest vending machines around the world. If you're new here and enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when we post a video. Now let's aim for that golden like button which is a thousand likes, so make sure to drop a like down below to help us hit our goal. Other than that, let's get into it. Number 15, Morning Candles. This machine in Germany vends morning candles. I'm very curious on how much sales traffic it actually gets, but this is probably at a cemetery and gives you easy access to candles if either the store is closed or you don't want to go in. Pretty smart in my book. Number 14, Sex Toys. Now sex toys in a machine is pretty weird, and I honestly can't think of anywhere this would even do well at. Well, maybe Vegas and bars. I take back what I said. The company that started this is called Pink Box. Their first location is in Philadelphia. Prices range from about $4 to $99. The reasoning is some people don't like walking into sex stores and others don't like waiting for shipping. What's even funnier is they offer pregnancy tests too. Number 13, Cabbage. Now this is pretty cool. I understand in America, seeing this at first would be pretty weird as we usually go to the store for this stuff. Local farmers in Japan put their vegetables in these machines on a weekly basis as an easier and more convenient way to sell them. Also, what an awesome way to support local farmers. Number 12, Underwear. This is actually pretty funny because if you were to have an accident or just forget your underwear in general, this machine's got your backside, literally. I'm guessing this would be in or near a hotel as most people would figure out they have an underwear issue there. Number 11, gold bars. This is pretty self-explanatory. You need gold, here you go. This has to be one of the most ridiculous machines. I truly want to know how often bars of gold are needed. Maybe I'll just never understand. The purpose of these machines are meant to make ordinary people more comfortable with the idea of investing in gold. This machine dispenses 320 items made of gold. The first machine made its debut in Abu Dhabi and now it spans over three continents with 20 machines. Since I'm not a baller, we're gonna go for the gold bar 2.5 gram, which is AED, $500, okay? So click that, buy immediately. Gotta get the whole thing, you know? I'm buying gold from a freaking vending machine, I love it. Okay, so here we go. You guys got this? Nope. Wow. That's it? That's it. That's it, right there. A little, there. Piece, like a little of piece For 500 dirhams. Number 10, fresh milk. Now, in theory, this is a very good idea. But if you think about it, just a little bit, how fresh is it really? It all depends on how often it's refreshed and refreshed properly. You don't want to get month old milk floating around in there. Europe has definitely opened their arms to the idea while the United States continues to condemn raw dairy products. And then you vend away. The milk comes out a nice steady stream so it doesn't foam up, doesn't foam, it just keeps a nice constant flow. Another good thing about this machine is when it's finished, when you've vended your litre or your two litre, you close the door. Number 9, Pizza. I haven't personally tried this pizza, but judging by the reviews, it sounds pretty good for the situation. If you're stuck in an airport and everything good is closed for the night, you definitely don't want to be stuck eating chips for dinner. When I do see this machine, I'm going to make an effort to try it.
Number eight, cold beer. Now here in the States, this is unheard of. I feel like it would be majorly abused and everyone would be drinking. It's pretty awesome though, and I definitely would buy some beer from it. Level that the glass is at. And then down in here, you can see the glass actually filling with beer. So you can see it there filling up, filling up the Centauri beer logo there. Just going, 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 going. There we go. And then it puts the beer down. And it is a full, frothy glass of beer. Now, I know what you're thinking. That looks like a lot of head <laughs> or foam, whatever it is you call it in your country. And it's true. Number seven, umbrellas. I feel like this machine should be everywhere. Well, everywhere there is rain. Here in California, this machine would be a flop. But for someone visiting a new city and a sudden downpour happened, this would be a lifesaver. Now, they do charge a little more than a normal umbrella does cost, but it's convenience fee. What do you guys think of this machine? Number six, champagne. I thought I've seen everything, but this is pretty crazy. I have no idea where this is a good idea. I love champagne, but the thought of needing a mini bottle of champagne is ludicrous. It's the only champagne vending machine in the world. It holds 320 bottles. At the moment, we've got it filled with the crystallized Moets, which is exclusive to us. Bottles cost $17.99 with the crystals on them. See, when you see a normal vending machine, it just pushes the bottle out. This actually has an arm that delivers it to the slot. Moet uh, provides the vending machine and we provide the stock. And it's really a collaboration between the two companies. Number five, cupcakes. I've actually had these cupcakes before, but not out of a machine. They are beyond delicious. They advertise them as being fresh, and I hope they are. Number four, live crabs. Why go out for fast food when you can stop by a machine and pick up some live crabs? This machine was found in China and the machines are held at just the right temperatures so the crabs are alive but very immobile. They even made a special packaging for them to be easier to handle. Pretty cool in my book. 30, three, and two. There it goes. There's a crab. Still alive? Well, barely. Oh yeah, it's still alive. Definitely. It's alive? Yeah, don't touch it. Do you want it? I don't like crab. Oh, I'll find some. Number three, burritos. Now I'm not sure if you've ever had a burrito from a gas station, but they are horrible. This machine is called the Burrito Box. Now, unlike the pizza machine we talked about earlier, they deliver packaged burritos and don't show you how they are made. Basically, this is a huge microwave that makes decent burritos. Josh is going to choose his burrito. Easiest choice have roasted potato, egg, and cheese. Oh, what is what happening right now? Potato, egg, cheese. Pretty hot. <laughs> Let's get yours. Total $5.34. Sounds like a free range chicken type of song. Alright, here is the party. 
and so the sides come on the side. Which leads me to believe that this is not prepared inside, this is microwaved. Number two, holy water. Now this is definitely the oldest on our list, but it was too crazy not to put it in. So Smithsonian.com said the oldest known machine dispensed holy water. The machine was coin operated and it had a lever system. You would have to insert your coin and it would hit a metal lever that was attached to a water reserve and a specific amount of water would come out. Historians have said that the machine was invented because people were taking too much holy water and not paying for it. Number one, fresh eggs. Fresh eggs is an awesome idea. This definitely could be a disaster in the making, but it seems to work out in Japan. Now I've seen a video where this came in handy. He was out late and wanted a decent dinner and it seemed really convenient and it wasn't too expensive. Just like the cabbage and vegetables, you're supporting local farmers and that's awesome in my book. Man, I have a pretty big book. Ah. Oh. Ta-da! Got the eggs. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching our video of the top 15 craziest vending machines. If you guys did enjoy that video, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace!